Hey, sexy. Hi, now at the Cape Mera View Food Center. So if you think that I'm coming here for food, actually I come here for fish tour. If you have heard of the fish farm, which you last saw from my video, you might be able to see the there's actually a, there's a lot of different types of aquarium in Singapore. So generally there's a, a public, public house, a housing estate, which also comes with some fish stores. Uh, not so big but medium in size. Of course you want to go bigger fish farm, which is uh, earlier the last video on Nanyang trading. But for Singapore, they also have a food center with a smaller stores, which is the shop data I'm going to show you. Hi everyone, Sing Chao. There's a fisher store is selling uh, fish over here. This is also one of the unique uh, fish stores in Singapore, which uh, in, in fact is nearby to the food center. So it's a small area, but it has a lot of features here. So uh, let me show you.
now back to home. So uh, this is the ending credit. And uh, after you have seen all my videos for the, the last few weeks, I would like to thank you all if you are still following my, my videos and subscribe to me. Uh, for this credit, I would like to talk a bit about myself and the objective for this channel. And of course, first of all, I need to thank uh, Mr. Sim uh, for this video. He allowed me to, to have the permission to take his thoughts, even though there, there is a uh, uh, no photography allowed. And uh, please bear in mind for, for those anyone who are actually coming to here, please do not take video unless you have the permission from Mr. Sim. Uh, please bear in mind, uh, I came for I came doing the off peak and uh, he also become my subscriber. Thanks, Mr. Sim. So uh, okay, now let, let's talk about the objective of this uh, uh, this channels. So based on the description, you have to aware about myself. I myself also keep fish. So generally for this channel, I will do a fish farm tour, uh, fish stores and fish shops in the normal. I mean, normal public uh, housing estates, short houses, and of course, uh, including uh, some rare fish, uh, I mean, food center with fish stores, which is not uh, commonly nowadays. So, this channel, not about myself, uh, talking about tours, and uh, of course, I will be able to teach you some of the tips to be a starter, to be able to identify uh, certain things like fishes, what kind of fishes are suitable for. Uh, for your tanks as a starter or you if you really need a small tanks then of course uh, um, I, I have to teach you on, on, on a few videos in order to let you master it because I, I myself uh, also took some time to, to mean, meaning that I started a, a slightly bigger tank and slowly go down to a smaller tanks and of course there's, there's also a important of what kind of features to be kept together yeah so um, continue with this topic is like I will be continue to work on this uh, uh, channel so um, I give you some of the, the my suggestion um, over on top myself so uh, you maybe will able to help me to, to provide your comments uh, this will, will help me to, to rather than I, I, I create the topic and ideas I, I will prefer my, my viewers to actually uh, come up with your suggestion and comment so I, at least I will be working more focused I myself is actually working so uh, this this job I mean <laughs> this uh, this uh, taking of videos on in YouTube is also part of my uh, daily life so I, I use all my my free time when I just started it's just uh, b before pre-covid and and this is actually not in my personal plan so when, when I started this, I, I was thinking, uh, oh, I have a new house, I, I like to have some and some of the, the interesting life creatures, I don't know. I have not thought, I thought about fish, but I think fish is still the best choice for myself because I'm, my personal is living in a three room flat, so itself, uh, there are limited space, so I, I think fish tank is the best choice. So I just do it and uh, continue trying out many fishes set up many tanks over the past three years so one day um, my uh, wife <laughs> tiger actually told me that why don't you take a video and uh, just just for everyone for sharing so it's much more interesting that it, rather than you yourself uh, just going around singapore trying to find a different uh, aquariums to find a bit more or different fishes rare fishes that are probably not been seen commonly in certain stores yeah so these are the the objective and uh, eventually uh, I finally started so it's actually on this year so uh, I I still knew so of course I need more support from everyone and uh, trying to, to make the best uh, each time which I doing the, the videos yeah so so resuming to the topic on uh, why I'm taking the video also is that if you realize that uh, this this line of industrial um, it also depends on the, the, the fish keepers and the hobbies which actually in whether how many people are there if they are they are how many of them are actually keeping this hobby some of us will be just um, keeping a simple fish like beta 
and uh, realize the death, and then they, they just give out and just throw the tank. So depends on, on, on the times. So there was a, a period before COVID that the, this line is actually quite bad. And uh, most of the shopkeepers are actually uh, old or senior citizens. And there's not many successors to take over their, their business and their or into these uh, hobbies. And many of the fishers are, uh, become homeless. So this was actually uh, was noted by one of my relatives and she is actually involved in, in supplying fish uh, accessories and tanks. So we've been seeing many of them actually uh, going uh, exiting this uh, industry and they, they left and there are less people keeping fish. But uh, miracle or not, you, you, it just happened that uh, the COVID came and um, this this line suddenly become uh, become hot, and uh, there are many people into this uh, into this industry due to some YouTubers and uh, because of aquascaping. There are many many knowledge in this this hobby. That makes you very important that uh, you can understand that a fish tank may not be so simple as you thought. And uh, by by my this channel is to to tell you that you can keep a fish tank with a very small size but you really need to choose the correct fish in order to keep them alive not not talking about breeding them breeding them is a different technique so, so this this I can talk to you separately on my future uh, channels yeah so come back to the fish owners you you really have to to, to thank them for opening every day because for, for this line it's slightly different from, from other industry that you can just rest and just let go yourself because the, the fishes are still need to be taken care and you need to feed them because of this reason aquarium are mostly open all days and uh, there are not many helpers uh, will be easily to be employed and some of uh, the people may not be able to take care of the fish well and eventually, eventually like to have more fishes die in this course so I myself as an aquarium lover which of course I, I don't want to see this to be happening so doing this channel is to, to so-called spreading um, promoting the, the the fish culture and uh, let people understand that the fishes and uh, how to take care of them well even though you may not give them the best condition but at least you, you know how to keep them I well. thank everyone for, for continuing viewing and I hope I have more, more subscribers so uh, you are able to, to see more videos yet. Yeah. This is the personal plan of myself. Yeah. Thank you everyone. Yeah. That's all for for this month. So uh, please give your comments. Uh, to tell me what kind of uh, suggestion one, two, three, or four or five or five A, five B, whatever you 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 have seen on top. Because I have not decided what is the the uh, ideas for the next month. So my 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 next month videos will depends on the feedback for everyone yeah thank you very much so to add in the point is that the uh, fish owners are actually the, the most fish lover means most uh, they, they like fish so much that they can be able to sustain this business to me it's not so easy to weigh between a business and hobbies so I, I will put in this video to thank every uh, fish owner in the world, in Singapore, that they, they manage this business and in order to, to have all of us to have a, a fish supplies and fishes or anything that we are required in our hobby. So I, in this video I have sent my, my great uh, appreciation to all of them in, in the world, in Singapore. Thank you very much.